It's a wonderful experience. I'm really surprised that we ended up with the ceremony, especially after this hectic year in COVID. But it's, I'm really grateful that Rice made it happen and I'm able to celebrate with my friends and family. Last year, they were not able to do it. And I know for us as a parents, you know, we understand what was going on, but we really expected this to happen. So I'm excited to see this happen. I, I, fly, I flew in all the way from uh, North Carolina to, to make sure I see my daughter walk through this. But we've been waiting for four years, five years five now, years. for her to walk through that gate. And she would never walk through it, didn't want to get jinxed. So it was a big deal to finally, five years later, walk through it. It's very weird because I feel like I've moved on with my life in a lot of ways. You know, like I, tech, I graduated, I'm like finishing up my first year of medical school. But like, it's still like, I, it's really nice to have this closure. Well, I really appreciate that Rice has brought them back and that they have this sense of closure because we had a graduation ceremony at home and I really didn't think that we'd actually come back and do it and now, you know, we were at Rice so often over the last four and a half years, right? You know, it was good for us to kind of put an end to it and tonight see her actually graduate and be so proud of her and her whole class. If you would have told me like back in January of 2020 that this was all going to happen, I would have thought you were literally insane. And like. There was a lot of stuff that obviously happened with the pandemic. Uh, a lot of it was really bad too, but I think it also kind of like, for our class in a way, like helped us really realize quickly how important this community is to us, which like coming back and being able to re-experience that community. Um, I think like our class is actually gonna stay closer together because of the pandemic, because we just realized how much we value that when, it's, when it was taken away so quickly, now that it's slowly coming back again, I think we're gonna appreciate it. We didn't know when or if it would happen, but you know, as things changed throughout all of last year, um, things were looking better, and when they announced it, we were all really surprised and happy, and then especially when they said parents could come, um, it really yeah, um, it was is, super special. It is, it is a celebration, and we are so happy that we could see this day. You know, all these things. It's a lot of hard work for you guys, but we are so proud of Rice and all the students who graduated. Yeah, go 2021 and 2020 class. Really weird. I'm teaching high school right now, and it was sort of um, unexpected. I like just got my certification last week, and it's weird. Like I left work yesterday um, with my like senior students for the last time, and now I'm coming to graduate, and it's like we're sort of going through this experience together albeit on different levels. In the history of Rice commencement ceremonies, tonight is unique as it represents both a reunion and celebration. As much as commencement ceremonies are always joyous events, coming together and seeing each of you is all the more lovely because of the time apart. It is a true true joy to welcome all of you here today and we are so grateful that you have returned. We graduated last year but then we also kind of didn't and then some of us walked through but some of us didn't. And then we had the online thing and now they're bringing everybody back. Oh but we're also in the football stadium. Oh but there's also going to be a graduation the day before y'all so like I'm sure the professors and magisters and everybody are so tired, so I'm a lot more excited about this than I would have been last year because it's like a reunion for everybody. We get to come back and see each other all again. Throughout the pandemic, Rice really stepped up and did as much as they could to protect the students, then move quickly to get them vaccinated, and they were a national example. And so to bring everybody back after a year just kind of is the peak of the efforts that they've put in for the students and it makes not only the students really happy but I'm sure all of the parents really happy. <laughs>